Rolling? Rolling. All right. Here we are in the Slum Wagon, AKA our mobile production studio, en route to New Orleans for the latest chapter in this little anthology of ours. Let me give you the tour. To our right is our breakfast nook, complete with coffee pot and a uh, cooler, which currently has nothing in it. But when there is, I'm sure it will be delicious. Over here on our left is the editing suite. This is where we view the footage before popping the tapes in the mail and sending them back to home base to our faithful editor to review. And beneath you there is our production assistant, Sherman, curled up in the old green screen, trying to keep warm. Sherman's on this little expedition for two semester hours of college credit, aren't you, Sherman? A task which he is currently failing at. Phil McAllister here in the back of some shady parking lot of a Waffle House off Route 5 in some place, Alabama, with Sherman Schenkelmeyer. Sherman, why don't you tell our audience here why we are on this journey of ours today? I just want to tell stories, man. People at school, they're like, hey, I'm going to just make a movie about this. And I'm all like, whatever, man. It's all been done before because I've done done it. More to the point, we are on a journey to expose the truth behind segregation at the Ruby Bridges High School prom. Our producer Abigail has suited us out with this luxury van and all the most advanced gadgetry to get the job done. Abigail herself is too good for field work after winning the jury prize at some coffee shop film festival in San Diego. So why not send old Phil to do our dirty work, right? There's an idea. And action. Ruby Bridges High School, for some, a place of knowledge and learning. For others, a call back to a darker, less tolerant time. Take it in, the hush of a Wednesday morning. What secrets will the walls inside reveal? What tones will the lockers? What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of talking and you're just gonna lay the boom on the frickin' ground? What's going on? It's early, man. I'm tired. How, how are you tired? It's like 2.30, you slept 14 hours in the frickin' van. Time zones, man. Yeah, let's just, let's just go inside. You already ruined the whole thing. Editor, if you're listening, please use your polishing powers to make me look not like this. Oh. And cut Sherman out of everything. 